Hello there, I'm Dr. Bill Cook, Superintendent of Rock Hill Schools, and I'm really excited about being with you today. I'm here uh, by my warm fireplace and by myself and looking so forward to sharing a book with you. So I think I'm going to take my mask off, if that's okay with you, and just tuck it away for a little bit. Well, this time of year is a great time to read any and all books that you can get your hands on. Tis the season, but every season is a good season to read a good book. And normally I would share my very favorite book with you, which is The Polar Express. This is one that I read to my family each and every Christmas Eve, and it is such a special book to us and our family. But today, I'm going to hold this book and maybe let you read that book with someone very special to you. But this is a great book if you haven't read it. Today, and there are lots of different books that you could read, but I have chosen a special one called The Gingerbread Man, Loose at Christmas, which is another great book. It is written by Laura Murphy and illustrated by Mike Lowry, or that's who drew the great pictures in this book, as you'll get a chance to see. One white snowy morning, I popped from my bed. My teacher was calling, wake up, sleepyhead. The classroom was decked out in holiday lights. They twinkled and sparkled in reds, greens, and whites. It's the season of giving, and we can give too. Our gifts could be things that we make, say, or do. A small act of kindness can go a long way. Let's do something special for someone today. We'll make something sweet. I'll say something kind. I'll do a nice favor are all three combined. And when we're all finished, we'll walk down our street and deliver our gifts to the neighbors we meet. I'll think of a present. I know that I can. I want to give too. I'm the gingerbread man. Some children made cards and others baked treats. A few practiced singing with jingle bell beats. I wanted my present to be a surprise. I thought and I thought, then I grabbed my supplies. I knew just the person I'd give this gift to, so I made something special with glitter and glue. I'll deliver this present as fast as I can with a jolly ho-ho from the gingerbread man. The town was so merry, the store fronts aglow. Each window was frosted with white icy snow. We stopped a police lady, sang her a song. She smiled really big as she waved us along. Fa la 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 la. Next came a garbage man picking up trash. So we dropped off some goodies to stash on his dash. We popped in the library, stopping to say, thank you for all that you do every day. We raced to the dentist, the grocer, the vet, delivering cheer to each neighbor we met. They all seemed so happy and very surprised. They gave us bear hugs and a few even cried. A whipping wind blew and it started to snow. Our teacher said, children, it's time that we go. I patted my pocket, then started to fret. I still have my present. I can't go back yet. But the class didn't hear me. The wind was too loud. They all headed back through the holiday crowd. I'll search on my own as fast as I can. I'll dash through the snow. I'm the gingerbread man. I waved at the barber, the friendly bookseller, the doctor, the florist, and the busy bank teller. I must find the neighbor. 
I made my gift for. She helped my class make me. Oh, where is her store? The sidewalks were slick as I tripped and then tumbled. I noticed my feet were all mushy and crumbled. My icing was dripping. My legs were just dough. I had to get out of this wet, squishy snow. Then finally I saw it, that one special store, a sign that said, Bake Shop, hung over the door. I'll hobble right over as fast as I can. I'll give my gift to, I'm the gingerbread man. The baker reached out and said, how do you do? I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm glad I found you. I've come to say thanks for your sweet recipe. Without it, my class would have never made me. I have something for you, my very best card. I used lots of glitter and worked really hard. Merry Christmas. She gave me a smooch saying, you made my day. Then she glanced at my legs with a look of dismay. Are your legs feeling crummy? I know a quick fix. We'll give them a dip in this dark chocolate mix. These boots will be cozy and look really cool. They'll keep your feet dry on your way back to school. I'll run in my boots as fast as I can. Thank you so much from the gingerbread man. I dash back to school under winter white skies. I hope I'm not late for our last big surprise. I zoomed down the hall and then slid into place. I joined all my classmates, a smile on my face. Our teacher looked puzzled, but curious too. We have one more present, a poem just for you. You are a gift that we get every day. You help us to learn in our own special way. You're funny and kind. You're the best teacher ever. You say, way to go. And you're ever so clever. Now that we know that we're smart cookies too, we made you a super gigantic. Thank you. Our teacher bent down and she gathered us in with a warm-hearted hug and a very big grin. My classmates grinned too. We had pulled off our plan. Merry Christmas to all from the Gingerbread Man. The end. I hope that you enjoyed this book. I hope that you have a wonderful season and that you enjoy your family and friends. Have a great holiday. Mm -hmm.